Hey, I'm Nick here with Poppin. We're at Benjamin Franklin High School for the Philadelphia DA Forum on Juvenile Justice. Young people came here today prepared with scenarios and questions to ask each of the candidates. So we're about to go check it out. How do you feel about probation for juveniles? And if you're against it, what do you think should, should be in place instead? What we have to recognize is that the juvenile justice system has to meet kids where they are. Not what we might want them to be, but where they are. We're here with Luke Risher. So what brought you out today, Luke? Uh, so I'm a member of the Philadelphia Student Union, and we all uh, tried to come out if we could because we know this issue impacts us as youth and uh, both like in our schools, but also once we go home and once we're not in the school facilities, it's still impacting us. We actually do a lot of work around like discipline, how youth are disciplined in the city. Like for example, an ongoing campaign we have is around school policing. Um, and uh, one of our members was actually assaulted in this building uh, a, about a year ago, the, this like last May. Um, so it's, uh, yeah, it's really important to us as youth and as youth activists and organizers in the city. And both of you all have roles as, um, if not educators and youth advocates in some capacity. Can you tell us what the goal is um, bringing you guys students out here today, please? The DA uh, position uh, was an opportunity for our students to really see what was at stake hear what those stakeholders had to say um, and hopefully influence them uh, when they think about uh, elections moving forward. Uh, for me, I work with young people who have lived experience uh, in mental health and the juvenile system, um, those who have been incarcerated, those who are in family court. And so for many of my young people who right now have you know, multiple diagnoses, for them the questions around how do you de-escalate, how do you not have a young person who goes to adult prison, right? Um, those are some of the questions that for my young people they need to hear really some serious answers about. Were there any candidates that captured your attention more so than the other ones? And if so, what was it that did that? Um, I definitely don't have any uh, position as to who I would vote for. Uh, but I think it was really interesting what Mr. Krasner was putting forth um, in comparison to pretty much everyone else out there. Like he called the system racist. I didn't hear any of the, the candidates talk about that. It is, a, it is, in fact, a systemically racist system, and a district attorney who seeks justice needs to recognize that and push back against cases that are the product of that system. All right, we'll start. Krasner, partially because like a lot of progressive like organizers and stuff I know really support him. He is the only one on their stage, not a prosecutor. Um, that stands out for multiple reasons. Um, but also his talking about being, you know, somebody who's been involved in civil rights for 30 years. But also El Shabazz, uh, the way he responds, also his experience in the both the DA and defendant position um, seems uh, valuable to me. And I think both of those candidates would be really good. I'm Nick. I'm Luke. And that's, that's what's, what's popping. Pop